Hey guys, Marcus Katkin back, giving you your Sunday daily fantasy football update. Uh, most of the games obviously have finished by now, so I just want to go over a couple of the highlights from today that we really want to pay attention to. Uh, first is Rashad Jennings, 34 carries, 176 rushing yards, and one rushing touchdown. Not only does this speak lengths about uh, Rashad Jennings, but I think it speaks even more about Andre Williams. Just six carries in this game. Obviously, they gave that huge workload uh, to Jennings because they just don't believe, it seems, in Andre Williams um, after his poor yards per carry average that he's had the first two weeks of the season. So, Andre Williams, he is now droppable, I think, in, in all formats. Uh, next up, Lorenzo Taliaferro uh, for the Baltimore Ravens. Bernard Pierce sits out this game, and Taliaferro finally gets his chance and just shows what he can do. Uh, beginning of the game was ripping off big runs after big runs after big runs. Uh, his first four carries, 9 yards, 7 yards, 31 yards, and then an 8-yard run. He looked explosive. He looked great, gaining tons of yards on every carry. Finished with 18 carries for 91 yards and a touchdown. I think he's your starter going forward. You know, this is something that we've all been speculating about ever since Ray Rice went down, that he could be the dark horse to be their starter, and it's looking more and more that way. Last up, another running back uh, I wanted to mention, Eddie Lacy. Guys, it, it's time to start getting worried about Eddie Lacy. I mean, his third straight game of under three yards a carry, or close to three yards a carry in this game, uh, 11 for 36. It's just not looking good. He's not getting the workload. He's not getting the yards. It's real tough, but I think I might be selling on Eddie Lacy now. Um, you know, if you can get 80 to 90 cents on the dollar that you got for him in the draft, I mean, I'd, I'd probably look to do it now. It's just not looking good for Eddie Lacy. Finally, just a couple quick notes. Uh, Blake Bortles and Teddy Bridgewater both getting their chances to play in the, uh, this weekend. Uh, Blake Bortles looking great. Both of them have been named the starter moving forward. Uh, Teddy Bridgewater more because of the injury to Matt Castle, but both are going to be your starters. I think it's going to make the, both offenses a little bit more dynamic. Hopefully Bortles helps open things up for Toby Gerhardt, who had another poor day. And Teddy Bridgewater, we're going to want to pay attention to him and, and what goes on there in Minnesota. Uh, you know, with Matt Castle as the quarterback, we know that Greg Jennings has been his number one receiver that he's been looking for, has been his favorite target. So it'll be interesting to see if Bridgewater has a new favorite target. Um, personally, I think he's going to start looking for uh, Cordell Patterson a little bit more, but maybe some Kyle Rudolph, or who knows, maybe back to Greg Jennings. So two interesting things, th those two quarterbacks, I'm going to go back and watch the tape on because it'll be interesting to see who their favorite receiver is. Don't forget to subscribe below to get all my daily fantasy updates, and follow me on Twitter, at Marcus Katkin.